Do you believe a degree guarantees a job? Uh, absolutely not. No. I really wouldn't say so. No. Why did you decide to come to college? Uh, my, my parents wanted me to. To gain more experience. What do you think are the top three things that employers are looking for when you graduate? Professionalism. Interpersonal communication skills. They look at grades. I'll say like leadership. An attitude of positivity. Uh, internships, if you did any. Responsibility, just like being accountable. Do you feel like you know, going to college was worth it? Yes and no. Yeah, if you make it worth it. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, I think college is worth it. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Joe Ignis with the Knowledge Gap podcast and YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today, we're at the University of Tennessee interviewing students on whether they think college is worth it or not. The statistics show that 61% of people who graduate college end up not thinking that it was worth it or they're not even sure that it was worth it. 41% of students don't even use their major. 43% of students graduate and are underemployed, not making as much money as they thought they would. This whole episode is about how to avoid that, how to think about college differently, how to do college right, because you can do college incorrectly where you're setting yourself up for failure. We don't want that for you. We want you to come out of college with a purpose, with understanding why you want to do what you want to do, making more money. That's what this whole channel is about. It's just so unfortunate that there's such a huge knowledge gap between what you learn in school and what you need to be successful in life. So we really hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Your subscription makes this possible for more videos and to help us grow. And let's share this with as many people as we can to make an impact. <laughs> All right, guys, my name is Joe Ignis, here interviewing Christian to learn why he came to college and teach you guys some cool stuff about what college is going to do for you in real life. So here we go. Christian, right? Yep. Awesome. Christian, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee. I've lived in Wisconsin, believe it or not, near Madison. Okay. Where'd you go to college? I went to the University of Milwaukee. University of Milwaukee. Okay. And what'd you study? I was a triple major in Russian studies, geography, and poli sci. Russian studies, geography, and poli sci. Okay. So, so what were your motivations to go to college? Not like why you picked the major, but like why'd you go to college? Uh, so originally it was pretty much just uh, I wanted to essentially have fun really you know I didn't want to have that FOMO even though I knew it wasn't the most uh, financially responsible thing if I could go back in time I'd probably go to a community college first get all my generals taken care of for real cheap and then go to a college that I really wanted to do but you know I was like I didn't want to like go on social media see all my friends I just graduated with having a lot of fun and I was you know back home or anything like that so originally it was just like I felt like I had to do it and I didn't want to miss out and then after that it became more about the academics for me you know I started off as a geography major. I was always really interested in geography and always really good at it growing up. Uh, so I started doing that and then I got more into politics. So I added the poli sci and then I got, I was taking Russian. So I added the Russian studies as well. So yeah. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Okay. And you're graduated? Yeah. Okay. And what do you do now? Right now I run a nonprofit called United America Movement, which is about depolarization and facilitating interpolitical discussions and asking people questions. Okay. Gotcha. I love that. That's what we're doing right now too. This is great. Okay, cool. So here's, here's some of the questions that you, you might have to think about. They're very subjective, so you can't get the wrong answer, um, but you can look funny, so that, that'll be good. So what are three things that college doesn't teach you that you need in order to be successful in the real world? Three things, okay. Um, well, I guess it depends what your major was, but I would say uh, definitely uh, interpersonal communication skills, okay. I would say is one for sure. Another one, again, it depends on your major, but I would say you know personal financial management, something that it really doesn't teach most students, and not everyone has that in high school. And then third, I would say, this is kind of similar to my first, one but I would say more more than less just uh, business relationship skills like how to interact with someone in a professional environment versus just you know informal yeah and that goes for whatever major yeah, pretty much right pretty much yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely absolutely okay so do you feel like you know, going to college was worth it um yes and no I mean it depends like on the day I think everyone kind of does this so I you know kind of beat myself up for it but I think something everyone thinks about it sometimes uh, I just think to myself like oh if I could go back I would do this 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 and this differently but to get that knowledge I had to like kind of mess up and do it a certain way maybe not the optimal way I think the best thing I can do now is tell other people that are younger than me like hey like you should actually do XYZ here's my advice as a person who maybe made some of the wrong mistakes and this is how you can not fall into that trap so yeah yeah absolutely absolutely okay um, I love that do you believe a degree guarantees a job? Uh, absolutely not. Why? Because, um, uh, well, one, there's a, you're not guaranteed because there's competition. You have to compete with other people within the same degree. You may have gotten a degree of that when you started your degree. It was a field that was growing or it was really stable. It could have been a new technology that came out that destroyed that industry. Yeah. So anything like that. And just uh, there's a lot of businesses that want a lot of experience prior to hiring someone. I think everyone's experienced this. You go on Indeed or another job board, and it's like, oh, this is perfect for me. And then you see, like, 
we want three years of experience. It's like, well, how am I supposed to get that if you won't hire me? So I know and I think um, the degree is important, obviously, but the internships are just as important. If there's a lot of majors where if you don't do an internship, a geography is one of them. For any uh, geography majors watching this, do an internship. You will not get a job if you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally you will not get a job if you don't. Okay, so here's some here's some really underwhelming sort of cynical stats, but I think it's really important to understand this at this age, and I think most people don't think about it. They kind of go through, they get A's, and they really put a lot of emphasis on their GPA and things like that, right? And so here's some stats. So 43% of people who graduate college um, report that they're underemployed. What that means is they graduated college and their degree didn't actually matter in what job they got. So they are underemployed compared to their education, right? 41% of people don't use their degree at all. They go in a completely different field, right? And uh, people stress out about their degree, correct? 61% uh, of people say they aren't even sure that college was worth it after they've gone through the experience, right? And that's a pretty crazy stat of why do we even do that, right? And I think what you're saying is the status, the symbols, the the social aspect, you know, um, expectation. the expectation, right, of, of wanting to go can, can really throw you off. So, I mean, if I could show you a YouTube channel that helped you learn the skills, you know, that's not taught in college, you know, some of these skills, interpersonal, financial skills, how to buy your first home, for example, is that a podcast or a YouTube channel that you would watch? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. feel like that'd be pretty helpful? Yeah, yeah. That's what we do, guys. That's what we do at the Knowledge Gap. So you guys check us out, subscribe, follow the podcast, follow the YouTube channel. We might have Christian on there and hear about United America movement. Yeah. Thank you, Christian. You're man. Yeah. Appreciate thank you. It. I really appreciate it. This is Trent Clark. A little louder. Trent Clark. Say it with your chest. I didn't, I didn't say it with your chest last time. Okay. Trent Clark. Trent, what uh, year in school are you? I'm a senior. Senior. What are you studying? Kinesiology. Why'd you come to college? Um, Because I didn't want to work a labor job. Okay. So you came to college not to work a labor job. Why'd you pick your major? Because uh, I like sports and I like science. Makes sense. Sports science. That's very clever of you. Okay, right, gotcha. Right. Here's a couple hard hard questions for it. Do you believe a degree guarantees a job? No. Why not? Um, degree qualifies you for it. I think there's a lot more that goes into actually getting a job, like interpersonal skills and stuff like that. Okay, interpersonal skills. What are three skills not taught in the school classroom in college that you need in order to be successful in life? I mean, interpersonal skills, for one. Like, you need to know how to effectively communicate with other people. Financial skills, I guess, which I haven't really been taught. And then I'll say, like, leadership. Okay, we got leadership, financial skills, interpersonal skills not taught in the classroom. Do you believe that college is worth it? Yeah, if you make it worth it. I feel like if you just go through the motions, then no. But if you actually apply yourself and try to do your best and tailor it to you, then it'd be worth it. Do you think your major matters? Not really. Not as much as a lot of people like put on. Yes, you want to hear some stats real quick? So as it turns out, 43% of people who graduate college are underemployed, meaning that their college degree had no effect on them finding a job. 41% uh, of people don't use their degree. <laughs> 61% uh, of people um, that got a college degree said they aren't sure if it was worth it. If I could show you a YouTube channel that helped learn skills that aren't taught in college, like interpersonal skills, leadership, financial management, do you think that'd be helpful? Yeah. Yeah, if it like sort of filled a, a gap in knowledge between, you know, what you learned in school and what it takes to be successful, you, you feel like that'd be beneficial for you? Definitely. Yeah. That's what we do. That's literally what our podcast and our YouTube channel does. So you guys should check it out. It's going to be awesome. We literally teach you and talk about the information that college neglects to talk about to help you be more successful in your life to tackle real world problems. Sound pretty cool? Sounds pretty cool. Are you going to subscribe and follow our channel? What is it? What's the name? It's the Knowledge Gap. All right. We're doing it. Spot subscriber. Here we go. And we're giving him a piece of candy. So this guy just does stuff for candy. <laughs> Thank you. We got James here. Say what's up, James. Hey. That's right. There what's we go. What's up, James? There we, yeah. There we go. We got James. James is a senior studying. Uh, business analytics. Business analytics at the University of Tennessee, my alma mater. Go Vols. Go Vols. Go Vols. Yes, good. So we're going to ask you some questions, okay, about the knowledge gap between what you learn in school, what you need for real life. He is a senior, so he is going to know what he has learned in school and what maybe he has had to learn somewhere else, right? You said business analytics. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why did you decide to come to college? I came to college mostly because it's the biggest way to secure opportunity, especially you know today in America. It's an excellent way to invest in yourself, especially if you don't uh, exactly know a lot about maybe yourself, maybe whatever you want to do. It's just it gives you like a longer runway, more experience, more information, so that you can find where you're going to fit in in society as a whole. I guess. Okay. Gosh, you came to basically find what you wanted to do. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And did you ever change your major? Yes. How many times? Uh, three times. <laughs> nice. Three times. From what to what to what? Uh, from medical laboratory sciences to general biology to biochemistry, molecular biology to business analytics statistics. How? How? <laughs>
uh, it was all pretty fast. I, uh, I spent about a year or so in uh, biology, and it took me about that long before I realized like, hey, you know, I enjoy the study of what I'm doing right now, but a lot of the career outcomes for people who study biology are lab jobs or field jobs. Mm -hmm. I wanted to study genetics, and so that would put me in a lab for all of my days. You know, I realized that's not exactly the kind of person I am. I'm more of a people person than that. I'm more uh, hands-on, and so, you know, despite how interested I am in the topic, I had to make a call. I had to say, you know, it's, this is not an investment for me. This is just something that I've been doing because it's fun. Oh, that was actually really good. I love that. And James did was like the only person who popped up in like after five minutes of us holding this sign. So he is a people person. That's great. So I love that, right? So, so that's a big takeaway of just like, hey, like when you're in school, like don't just pick it for, you know, you like it. Do Think of your lifestyle that you want to have. I, I actually really did like that. Okay, cool. So what do you think are the top three things that school doesn't teach that you need to, you know, you're about to graduate and that you need to be successful? Uh, I think school doesn't really teach the kind of attitude that makes you successful in different internships. I've actually interned in a number of different places from law firms to uh, actual analytics positions. Um, and one of the biggest things that uh, I've come across in needing is like just have an attitude of positivity where, you know, accept that work is going to come your way that uh, is not always going to be the most fun. But uh, if you can keep, you know, sight of your goals, then it's going to be rewarding. Absolutely. James is a stud. Okay. But college does not teach you attitude, right? It is not going to be teaching that kind of stuff. And you do need that to be successful, right? Interviews, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. So you've, you've changed your major three times. You've gone through college four years. You're about to graduate in May, I assume. Uh, actually, next fall. Next fall. Okay, so you only got two semesters left. Mm -hmm. Do you think college was worth the cost? Uh, absolutely. I think that everyone's situation is different, and so everyone's cost is different. But I've absolutely found a lot of confidence that comes from just having knowledge of my areas of study. I think I'm ending up in a career that I'm excited about uh, versus one that I may have never learned about. And I think that's what matters is uh, part of the, the calculus that you have to do uh, when you're taking on uh, a commitment like college are these loans that I'm going to be paying off worth a the the salary bump that is going to justify them you know if I can live like I'm making 100k but I'm paying off loans you know I'm still living like I'm making 100k like if I had never taken on that much debt you know I would have never been able to you know make it back ultimately it's about enjoying life you know and so year by year day to day it raises the stakes yeah absolutely I like that for sure so College is only worth it if you make it worth it, right? A lot of people, I think, go through college, and this is what happens to them. I'll give you some statistics since you're a business analytics uh -huh. major. You know, 43% of people who graduate college come out underemployed, which basically means their college degree had nothing to do with their hiring process. They right. could have not gone to college and gotten that job. They're overeducated, working a job that's not paying them like they're supposed to get paid mm -hmm. for that degree, for example. That right? makes sense. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Why, why does that make sense? You know, looking around uh, different classes, I think a lot of people come to, come to college for different reasons, and I, I think a big one is not knowing what you want to do. Uh, if your attitude about not knowing what you want to do is like waiting for something to find you, then I think it's not going to, or you can't count on that happening. Right. But if you come there saying, okay, my goal is to explore, to find options, and to figure out how to apply myself, then I think, you know, you're going to find what you're looking for. Absolutely. I love that. I love that. Absolutely. Right. So and it's it's cool because again, you've been watching this, but and I, you know, 41% of people don't even use their degree when they graduate. <laughs> so changing, yep. changing majors three times makes sense. 61% uh -huh of people who graduate say that college wasn't even worth it. What, what's your response to that? Uh, probably wasn't for them. Uh, you know, people come to college and I think uh, lose sight of the reasons why maybe they began, uh, whether it's just the abundance of social atmosphere or, I don't know, learning the wrong kind of attitudes towards, I don't know, sports extracurriculars. It's stuff that you have to balance. And, you know, it's easy to let that balance uh, get out of whack. And so, you know, it's, it's always easier to be pessimistic about, oh, it wasn't worth it, especially coming out of today's climate just so oh, 10 years ago or something like that we started recovering from a financial crisis and so a lot of those statistics are going to be mixed people who graduated in 2008 are not going to have the same response as somebody who graduated 2016 yeah no for sure i love i love the analytics this is great Awesome. So, you know, if there was a YouTube channel and, and you could maybe listen it to yourself or recommend it to a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, somebody in college that kind of covers some of this stuff, talks mm -hmm. about how to have a good intention, a great attitude in college, you know, kind of bridges that knowledge gap between when you graduate and buying your first home or teaching you how to buy your first home or build wealth. Yeah. Does that sound like a podcast that you would listen to or a YouTube channel? I would need a heavy recommendation. I think that in order for people to learn stuff, uh, it has to come from a place of emotional engagement. Uh, and so, you know, if it was something that I was already thinking about, then, you know, I probably 
probably wouldn't need it. But if it's something that I wasn't thinking about and 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 it came from a recommendation of a friend, you know, I think I think that would be helpful. Yeah. Okay. But the content, like something that sort of bridges that gap between what you're not taught in the classroom oh, and what to be. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. It should be a class. Like honestly. Okay. But if there was a, a podcast or like a YouTube channel that was basically that class for free mm-hmm. that college student could listen to, would you listen to that? Yeah. That's what we do. Awesome. That's like what our podcast is about. That's what our YouTube channel is all, all about. It's the knowledge gap. We cover literally the difference between what you learn in school, what you need for real life in your 20s so you can have a really successful 20s because doing college the wrong way mm-hmm. sucks. But doing it the right way like you're talking about, really beneficial, right? Yeah. Getting all those degrees, you know, or excuse me, getting all those internships and learning that mentality stuff. So good. So James, thank you so much. You crushed it, bro. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, go grab a pie from over there and <laughs> hit you right in the face. So are we ready? We're here with? Wesley Speltz. Wesley Speltz. Going to the University of Tennessee. Let's go. What's your major? Finance. Finance. I think that's actually how you pronounce it, right? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Put him on the spot there. Okay. Why did you decide to come to college? Uh, my, my parents wanted me to. And I think it's a smart decision. So. Okay. Parents want him to. Smart decision. Why do you think it's a smart decision? Leads to money, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure about that? I mean, I would like to think so. Yeah. You're paying enough. You are paying enough. <laughs> I would agree with that. So, There's also a lot more opportunities in college, too. Like, uh, to get yeah, into like, the workforce. Like, yeah, it gets yeah. you a step, right? So... What do you think are some skills that aren't taught in college? Maybe like three skills that help you be successful or, or get a better job. I've been in college for like two months, so I, I don't know. I'm sure that I can learn stuff later. I don't really know. But uh, what, what do you think you're not learning in the classroom <laughs> compared to what you are learning? Like what is that? I don't know. What is that okay, mean? let me ask you this question. I'll ask you one more question. You're doing, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're Thank great. you. What do you think employers look for? Top three things for when you graduate. Uh, I would assume GPA plays a pretty big part. How much you were involved in college, I would assume. Uh, internships, if you did any. Uh, yeah, I guess those would be three. Okay, so so internships could reflect some good things, but usually yeah. the qualities are actually leadership and communication skills. Okay. Do you think those are taught in the classroom? I honestly wouldn't say in a classroom, but I would say outside of college, yeah. You're, I meet like at least two new people every single day. That's kind of like what college is. So I love that. I would say outside of college, not like in the classrooms itself. But okay, okay. I, lo- I love it. I love the opinion. You're doing great. He's uh, he's on his way to class, so we're going to go through some of these questions. So, Do you believe that going to college in general is worth the money? I don't think everyone has to go to like an SEC college like this. I think you can go to community, but uh, honestly, in today, I really wouldn't say so. There's a lot you can do without a degree, so it's not in the budget. If you're not passionate about anything here, I would say you don't really need to go to college, but other than that, yeah, like say if you get enough scholarships off. You know, like say with your chest, I love it. Yeah, like I got enough money off to where it was worth it, so. Yeah, scholarship. If you can get it for free, obviously you should go. Yeah, and obviously, it's if it's, wor- really it's worth it at that point. Like this absolutely. is insane for me. I had good ACT and stuff like that. So absolutely. So this is really important, especially for your age group. So hopefully you learn something. This is all supposed to be beneficial for you. Okay. <laughs> So, so, so here's some stats. Okay, 43% of people who graduate college with a bachelor's or a two-year degree um, are underemployed when they graduate, which basically means their college degree had nothing to do with them getting a job. Yeah. Which is which is not exciting, right? Not, <laughs> not exciting, right? right? Uh, 41% of total college graduates don't even use their degree. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that crazy? That is wild. Right? So degree doesn't matter. 61% say that they aren't even sure that college is worth it. More than half the people who go to college and graduate say they're not even sure it's worth it. Yeah. Isn't that kind of crazy? That is crazy. So would you agree that maybe those stats could point to the fact that college does not maybe prepare you to get a job when you graduate? I wouldn't say college in specific. I would say it's the kids not making the opportunity worth it. There's tons of opportunities around campus to get involved, to get internships, join programs, but I I would say it's on the student at that point. It's on the student at that point. Absolutely. I absolutely agree. So college does not guarantee a job. Yeah. A degree. Yeah. I would say it's on the person. Absolutely. That's good. We've made somewhere. It's on the person, right? So I love that. Okay. So if there was a YouTube channel that could help fill that gap, right, of knowledge between you, what you need to be successful and what's not taught in the classroom, would that, would that be something of beneficial for you to listen to and would you be interested in listening to something like that? I would listen to it every single day. Absolutely. That's the knowledge, guys. That's literally what we do, guys. We literally talk about information that's not taught in school or the classroom that you actually need to um, be successful in life, like financial management, how to buy your first home, right, communication skills, leadership, stuff right. like that. Does that sound like pretty cool? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Awesome. All right, everybody give it up for Wesley online here. He's a man. University of Tennessee freshman. Let's go. Thank you, Wesley. Thank you. Here we got Emma at the University of Tennessee. Go Vols. Go Vols. All right, Emma is from Farragut, Tennessee, which is near Knoxville, Tennessee. What's your major? Uh, Psychology. Psychology. What year in school? Junior. Junior in school. Okay, we're going to ask some questions about your college experience to help the younger generation understand what they're getting into. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Why did you decide to come to college? I decided to come to college to gain more experience and be an adult or try to figure out how to be an adult and figure out like my direction in life, I guess. 
Okay, nice. I like very psychological yeah. type answer. That's good. Okay, so why did you choose psychology or how did you pick that? I originally was in a management major and then I found, I took one psychology class and I was like, okay, this sounds really interesting and that's kind of what I went into and I'm actually in the process of potentially changing my major so it may not be psychology for long. But Oh, awesome. Yeah. Our previous interview uh, sounds like third time's the charm. Yeah. No, seriously. I think the third time will be it for me, hopefully. But um, you always may change your major. I still don't know what I'm doing, but we're here trying to figure it out. So. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. So you don't feel like high school prepares you for like figuring out what you want to do? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> okay. So. Awesome. Gotcha. Okay, cool. What, what do you think are three things that you'd like to learn about or that maybe you've heard about that you need to be successful that aren't taught in school? Probably uh, how to manage your money or what each major can bring, like every job that's in each major, how to how credit works. Um, that would be nice. Um, any Anything about how to actually be an adult or figure out what you, like instead of asking, like when you talk to a career counselor, they ask you, what do you like? Um, the the question is what are you good at because that's the really the question that's gonna get you where you need to go because you can like a lot of things so yeah what are you good at I like that for yeah. sure do you believe college is worth it um yeah I think that college is worth it um, not everybody will agree with that but when you when it comes to experience experience is valuable and whether or not some people graduate college and never use their degree that happens but you're still gaining a lot of experience in college that is valuable for the rest of your life I'm sure absolutely the friendships all that stuff here's some stats and this leads me to believe that most people just do college wrong that's really yeah. what happens to it right there's nothing wrong with quote unquote college I mean some I think a lot of the content maybe you're getting to class mm -hmm. doesn't really transfer to what you actually need right. to be successful which is why we actually have this podcast but here's some stats for you. so 43 percent people who graduate college graduate and they get a job where they're underemployed hmm. it basically means they graduate and where they're working they could have worked out without a degree yeah and that's sad yeah it is sad and I've heard a lot of people I have a lot of people in my family, um, an extended family, who spent five to even seven years in college and don't use their degree. Yeah. And it's sad because at that point you're just wasting your money. Absolutely, right? And I yeah. think it's important to make good financial decisions, yeah. right? And if you're going to be doing college, you should be you should be on a mission if you're, right. if you're here and spending that money because as it turns out, 41% of people don't even use their degree. <laughs> That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. That's almost 50% of people who go to college don't use their degree. Absolutely right. That's so, crazy, yeah. So what does that make you think about? Like, why do you think that stats, you know, is the way that that is? Um, I, again, like how you were saying, people don't do college right. Um, I feel like college can be a game sometimes, and you got to figure out how to work the game mm -hmm. in order to graduate and actually monetize off of what you just learned. Um, whenever you're going into college, colleges kind of want your money so they're not really going to help you you got to figure out like what am i doing here i got to get in get out be able to use that and get on with my life yes. instead of spending so much time just being here confused because then you're just spending more money yes hence why you're switching out of psychology yes. i assume yes uh, yes, yes, yes absolutely yes. i just recently learned this and i'm a junior and so i feel grateful <laughs> yes, yes. that like i'm a junior now and i'm not just graduated and just figured this out but yeah that's yeah, yeah. So you wish you wish you would have learned this earlier. I would wish I would have learned in high school, really. Mm, yeah. um, even though you know the first two years you're just doing genetic classes, but mm. you're still those two years are crucial in figuring out and stepping out of your comfort zone to even see what you want to really go into. And I I graduated with COVID um, happening, and so I kind of like secluded myself and was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll you know wait it out and see and. Those two years are crucial to kind of figuring out what do you want to, you know, put your foot into to see what can actually be working for you later on. If there was a YouTube channel or a podcast that would fill this gap of knowledge between graduating high school and college and figuring out what you want to do with your life to be successful and some of those skills like financial management, you know, buying your first home, how to have a good attitude, figure out what you'd like to do with your life. Yeah. Would that be something that would be pretty beneficial for you? Uh, I think so. I mean, I all of those things can sometimes feel a little bit overwhelming and you don't really know how to get yourself out of the, not only like the situations you may get in, but like the mindsets or like, you know, you have a problem and you need to solve it, but like looking at like how 
you actually solve the problem. I think that would be helpful, yeah. That's literally what we do at the oh, podcast. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Oh, so so you're going to have to listen, right? Yeah, that's going to be great. Absolutely. It'll be super helpful for you. So that's yeah. what we do at the Knowledge Gap. We, we un- t- you know, untangle real world problems. We give you real world solutions for what you'll actually need for real life instead of the bubble that is college because college is a bubble where everything's sort of like yeah. paid for free but not really you paid for it and mm-hmm. then everybody's the same age and you don't really get it's skills. It's like Monopoly. It's like Monopoly. It's like Monopoly. Like Monopoly, like Monopoly. Bit, yeah. So we're talking about real life, not Monopoly. How, right. to, how to use your real money and actually build wealth that way. Sound pretty cool? Yeah, very Awesome. Cool. Emma, you did great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Nick. We're here with the Knowledge Gap Podcast and we're here with Ishma Katak. Ishma, what year are you in school? Um, I'm a freshman. Awesome. And what was your major? Uh, pre-dental. Awesome. So what made you want to come to college? Um, so both of my parents went to college. My dad, he actually has a, a PhD in engineering, and he actually works at UT. So it was a really good opportunity for like me to come here. And I get half off tuition because he does work at the university, which is super nice. Um, and yeah, like all of my aunts and uncles they're all they all have their masters they all went to college uh they're all either like engineers doctors or dentists so i wanted to you know follow them like i look up to them they're like my role models so yeah it's all checked out check all your boxes exactly do you believe that getting a degree guarantees you a job no i don't think it guarantees you a job um i think it helps you with more opportunities to get jobs but i mean some people don't even like use their degrees in like the jobs they are in right now you know like you never know what you're gonna do you don't know what where your life is gonna like end up you don't know what your future looks like from the beginning for sure i got some cool stats on that for sure and then what are top three things you think employers look for when you graduate? Um, I guess uh, they look at grades, your GPA, um, if you did any like extracurriculars, if you were in leadership roles, um, that type of stuff. So all in all, you think after what everybody goes through with school, do you think college is worth it? Yeah, I think college is worth it, um, especially if you want a job that's high paying and you have to work for that to get there. So I think the hard work does pay off. And yeah, I think it's worth it. Yeah, so pretty much what I was saying about those facts is it's actually 43% of students who graduate with a degree are underemployed. So that means that like whatever degree they get in, they end up getting jobs that don't necessarily require that degree. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then 41% don't use the degree that they went for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I know um, my cousin, she got a degree in accounting, but where she works right now, it has nothing to do with accounting, so yeah. That's kind of how it plays out for most people. Yeah, and then 61% um, say they aren't sure college was worth it, really? having gone through it. What do you feel about that? Um, I guess it is an opinion. Um, there's not like a right or right right or wrong answer it's just everyone has their own opinions about college and whether it's worth it or not personally i think it is worth it so um, far yeah. so far so far yeah. yeah and you got a pretty sweet setup so on that yeah sorry you got a pretty sweet setup on yes i do i'm very lucky yeah i'm sure. very grateful well Ishma, if i could show you a youtube channel that helps you learn like skills that you would need to fill in the gap between like what you learn in school and what you need to be successful in life and mm-hmm. like real world skills that's something that sound like you would watch yeah it sounds like something i would watch well, cool well on our channel the knowledge gap that's literally what we talk about and talk about what school neglects to teach young adults in order right. to like take that step and get ahead and mm-hmm. fill that gap that's cool, cool. thank cool. you we're here with megan megan what year in school are you i'm a freshman freshman where are you from from illinois illinois yes. what are you doing down here i honestly don't have any idea okay that's the exact kind of here. person we're looking for so this yeah. is great so all right so we're gonna ask you a few questions about your college experience to you know for, for the next generation but also to get you thinking okay and help thinking about maybe there's some things out there that i you need to learn about to be successful that maybe you're not getting taught probably. which would probably be beneficial mm-hmm. that's what we're about because okay. that sounds good so okay yes. so what's your major uh, psychology okay why I just want to help people. I want to be a counselor, therapist, something like that. Okay. And how'd you figure that out? Um, probably like sophomore year of high school. I just, okay. it just kind of clicked with me because I used to want to be a STEM major and then I realized that wasn't for me. Okay. So then I switched and it just totally clicked. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So the biggest reason you went to college is to help people with psychology. Love mm-hmm. it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. What do you think are like some things that you need to be successful that's not taught in the classroom? Give it your best guess. Uh, Three things. Time management, okay. motivation, okay. studying habits. Studying habits, yeah. okay. 
What do you think are the top three things that employers are looking for when you graduate? Professionalism, probably time management, and like responsibility, just like being like accountable. I think those are all yourself. great, great qualities, right? And so actually, as it turns out like leadership communication skills mm -hmm. are usually up there. Yeah. And a lot of times people say GPA really? and their classroom knowledge, but it's actually like at the bottom, like yeah, number 17, so. right? Yeah. Okay, why do you think the GPA doesn't translate to what employers um, look for? Um, because there's oftentimes you're taking classes that like don't directly correlate to like something that you might be doing in the workplace. I just think like, like I'm in a biology class right now and I'm not really gonna need that in the long run. Right, but that begs the question because college is so expensive, especially out of state, right? right? Yeah. Do you feel like the education that you're actually getting from the classroom, you know, since you're saying, you know, biology is not going to transfer mm -hmm. over to psychology right. probably at some point, do you think it's worth it? Do you think it's worth it to go to college? Um, I do. I think in our society, it's kind of like frowned upon if you don't. But I also have four older siblings and only one of them went to college and graduated. So like, I know you can be successful both ways, but I've seen with like my siblings that you have a better chance of being successful if you do go to college and if you do follow through with it so like it's not necessary but it definitely helps absolutely yeah now, would you agree that there's a right way and a wrong way to do college yes because my, like my older siblings my two oldest siblings went to like community college for a couple years tried that for a while it didn't work out and then my third oldest brother he went to a four-year college graduated now he's just starting his job and he's completely like fine so like I think you just have to find what works for you for you and obviously college isn't for anyone or everyone I mean but like I think you just have to like if you go for it you got to stick with it and just really like get through it because yeah. it's going to get hard and you're going to want to like there's going to be times where you're going to be like ding this isn't really for me like I chose wrong or whatever but you just got to like push through that get through Absolutely. it yeah now you've got a great mindset because most people, these are some stats for you to learn, 43% of people who graduate college are underemployed. That means they don't use their degree, they, they, their education's higher than what they're getting paid. They didn't actually need to go to college mm -hmm. to get the job that they end right. up with. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Okay, 41% of people say they don't even use their major. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? It is. Right? 61% of people think that college wasn't worth it. What's your response to that? <sighs> Well, I guess it depends on what you're looking to go into. There are obviously certain things that, like, if you're going to be an engineer, you need to go to school for that. But there's also other things where, like, experience and just, like, time in the work will, like, t teach you enough. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I still think it's worth it to go. I mean, there's also you get the experience, too. Mm -hmm. So it's it's definitely a double-edged sword sometimes. Absolutely. I yeah. think there's people who go to college with the end in mind. I think there's people who go to college to go to college. Yeah. Right? And I think there's a good way to do that. And, you know, if there was, like, you would agree, it sounds like there's a big difference between what you learn in the classroom and what you need to be successful. Do you agree with that? Correct, yeah. Absolutely. So if there was, like, a YouTube channel or a podcast that mm -hmm. kind of filled that gap that helped you, right. you know, make sure, like, from someone who was just there, mm -hmm. you know, who relatively was successful, right? Yeah. Do you think that'd be something you'd listen to be helpful beneficial to make sure that you're making good decisions yeah I think that would help a lot awesome that's what we do at the knowledge gap that's great so look another testimony that's amazing so that's what we talk about so you should totally listen to it we're all about just helping you and everyone your age um, make better decisions because we don't want 43 percent of people to graduate college and not get an awesome job we want right. like everyone to get an awesome job if you're going to college if you're going to college once you have a great experience feel like it was worth it because guess what it's about your mindset right mm -hmm. it's about how you do it now if you go sit in your room the whole time right I mean you're not gonna get right. great results right yeah. but people think that the degree gets you a guarantee and it doesn't. And I think that's so important for people here. Would you agree? Yeah. Absolutely. Love it. Megan, crushed it. Let's go Vols. Let's go Vols. There's a huge gap in knowledge between what you learn in high school and college and what you need in order to be successful in life. But our purpose of this video is for that not to happen to you. So the goal is not to be cynical about college. It's to benefit the people who are in college. We're talking about how to invest in your first house, how to buy your first house, how to be smart in your marriage, right? Those are not talked about super important, probably more important than some of the things you're learning, right? We're going to be talking about financial literacy. We're going to talk about good decision making, attitude, goal setting, because most people come into school without any idea what they want to do with their entire life. And that should be taught much earlier, much quicker. And if you haven't been taught, you need to learn now. So watch this podcast, you know, listen to this podcast, watch this channel. Our goal is to really add value to your life, help you do college better, help you do high school better, help you have a more successful 20s in your life so you can have a better life overall, more purpose-driven, more missionally driven.